The incredible journey of life. From birth through infancy, childhood, puberty, adulthood, and a slow maturity to old age. This is the story of our lives from a unique perspective, deep inside our bodies. This is the journey of a human life from the outside in. A fetus develops in the womb. It's an astonishing 40-week journey from a single cell to a baby ready to be born. Its body is a miracle of microscopic design. Tiny, perfectly formed organs, each made up of billions of perfectly functioning cells. These cells are the building blocks of our bodies. They make us what we are, a hundred thousand billion cells, all working in harmony. Inside every cell is the same extraordinary engine, the machine that tells each cell how to grow and what functions to perform. DNA is unique to every person a chemical blueprint of instructions that creates each new life. This baby is ready to enter the world. A newborn person whose journey is about to begin. The journey starts with a challenge, breathe or die. These lungs have never breathed before. They're still full of amniotic fluid that protected them for nine long months. The newborn is in danger of drowning. Then the body kicks into survival mode. The adrenal glands, right above the kidneys, send adrenaline surging around the body. It shocks the lungs into life. Muscles we need to breathe suddenly start to spasm. And we take our first breath. It's the most important breath of our lives. The first of 700 million. Our lungs will pump air every single second as long as we live. Air rushes down the windpipe, down thousands of branching tubes, and into nearly 30 million tiny air sacs, the alveoli. These air sacs pull oxygen into our blood and pump out the carbon dioxide we exhale with every breath. And they do it nonstop for 80 years. At the moment of birth, everything changes. The physical link between mother and baby is broken for the first time. The first hour brings rapid change. 
all the baby's organs have to adapt to life outside the womb. It's a challenging and risky time. At this age, the heart is no bigger than a walnut. It's been pumping in the womb for eight months, but now it has flaws that could be fatal. Two holes, one in the aorta and one in the heart. In the womb, they diverted blood away from our inactive lungs. Now that we need the lungs, the holes seal shut. The heart is working normally, pumping blood through tens of thousands of miles of blood vessels. Other systems are also gearing up. The digestive tract is ready to clear itself out to make room for its first meal. The bowels are full of digested amniotic fluid and dead cells, a sticky green-black tar-like material called meconium. It's corrosive stuff. If it ends up in the baby's lungs during labor, it can attack the delicate lining. But here in the gut, meconium is harmless. The digestive tract flushes it out within days. As time passes, more sophisticated systems start to kick in. Our next challenge is the cold. It was 100 degrees in the womb. Here at home, 65 degree room temperature is a shock to the system. The area that controls temperature is deep within the base of our brains. When an adult is too cold or hot, this area sends out instructions for our cells to produce more or less energy. It's called the hypothalamus, and like all our other organs, at this age, it's still immature. The brain is under pressure, making 100 trillion calculations per second just to keep our bodies functioning. But it's still learning how, and now we're in danger of hypothermia. An infrared camera shows the struggle to keep warm as we lose precious body heat. The yellow areas show where we lose the most. Luckily, we're prepared. A layer of special tissue around our blood vessels and vital organs actively generates heat. It's fat, but this isn't regular fat. It's brown fat, a specialized type usually found in hibernating animals. It's packed with special heat-generating cells. Eventually, most of this fat will melt away as the hypothalamus matures and the liver and other organs take on the job of generating heat. Just hours old, we know almost nothing about the world. Everything we do relies on instinct. Feeding is a reflex. Normally, we have no more control over suckling than the urge to breathe. This is milk on its first journey down the esophagus to the stomach. Mother's milk is much more than the ultimate superfood. It also protects us from hidden danger. 
Outside the womb, bacteria are everywhere, invisible and potentially deadly. Our day-old skin is under constant attack. There are 10 times more bacteria than human cells in and on our bodies. Our immune systems aren't developed yet, so we can't fight infections for ourselves.